Can you see my slide? Professor yes, thank you. Yes, yes, thank you. Okay. Okay, distinguished chairperson, Professor Frank Martin, Professor Dadia, and my dear colleagues, it's my great honor to be invited to give a talk at this wonderful conference. And the topic I'd like to talk is management of strabismus associated with cranial cytostosis. Children with congenital malformations involving cranial structures are at high risk for ocular anomalies. And uh, cranial cytostosis is one of cranial structure malformation combined with ocular anomalies. Cranial cytostosis is a premature color of one or more cranial sutures in the embryonic period of early childhood. And the uh, sagittal suture and the most unilateral corneal suture are the most common seen in cranial cytostosis. And the one third are syndromes, meaning plus phase limb malformation. And the incidence is in one in 2,500 births. And the most there are coronal suture, sagittal suture, and uh, lambdoidal suture. And the involved suture or sutures determine the shape of the school. And the figure A showed us normal suture. Bone growth occurs as a suture with bone laid down and parallel and perpendicular to the direction of the suture. And the figure B show us virtual law. Prematurely fused the suture allows bone growth only in the parallel direction. Perpendicular growth is inhibited. And the figure C is an example of virtual law. Premature color of the sagittal suture produce the scaphocephaly. That means both to school become narrow. And the where the patterns of premature suture color may result in a wide spectrum of school scallop shape, school shape, and including plagiocephaly, means oblique height, is the most common in cranial cytostosis. And the brachiocephaly or microcephaly means short height, and scaphocephaly means bold height. And oxycephaly, clip blood shadow. Clip blood shadow is German language, means clover leaf school. All suture premature closed, and sometimes mental retardation may be present. Ocular complications of cranial cytostosis include poor vision, sometimes myopia, amblyopia, or astigmatism, and the pupil edema or optical trophy, protopsis, and the strabismus. And the strabismus may be seen up to 90% of cranial cytostosis, which result from changes in orbit axis and angulation. And the normally the deviation is the horizontal deviation axial deviation and the iso deviation. Normally, axial deviation is more than iso deviation. And the half have marked V pattern because of the sagittalization of super oblique or exactly rotated of extraocular muscle. I will show a few cases. The first one is unilateral coronal cytotosis. And the female, 22 months old, exotropia and hypertropia since she was born. And the medical history includes congenital developmental defect, hearing impairment, atrial septal defect, and no cerebrosal surgery before. Here is ocular examination. Ocular motility is uh, inferior oblique over direction plus two, and the super oblique under direction minus two. And the deviation in primary position is uh, exotropia, 25 prism diopter, and uh, left hypertropia, 20 prism diopter and the same between the near and the distance. And from this picture, we can see the absolute frontal parietal retruden, and on the other hand, contralateral frontal parietal protruden. And the CT scan showed us the same results, absolute frontal parietal retruden on the left side, and on the other side, contralateral frontal parietal protruden. And the 3D reconstruction of school showed us the similar result, the absolute frontal parietal flattening on the left side. And we can see the left coronal suture premature closed and the contralateral frontal parietal bulging. And the 3D reconstruction of orbit showed us left orbit deformed and the orbit room becomes shortened. 
and the coronal CT showed us abnormally inserted, inserted ocular muscle and the left superior rectus shifted temporarily and uh, left inferior rectus shifted nasally, which is secondary to exactly torsion of orbit. So the patients showed a very significant V pattern and the inferior oblique overreaction, superior oblique and direction. When she looked up, exotropia is 30 prism diopter. And when she looked down, the exotropia is 10 prism diopter. So I did the left superior oblique tuck. And after surgery, the V pattern improved a lot. But six months later, the V pattern re re the re pattern again. And we can see the left inferior oblique overreaction. So I did the left inferior oblique myectomy. And after surgery, the V pattern disappeared. The second case is a chromosome syndrome. Five years old male. And uh, apparent protosis and strabism was since birth. And uh, the boy had a school reconstruct surgery six months ago before he went to the eye hospital. And this picture is a 3D reconstruction, preschool reconstruction surgery. We can see the shape of school is irregular. Cranial cyanocytosis present and all suture closed prematurely. Both sides coronal suture and the sagittal suture and the lamboid suture on the back of the school, all suture closed prematurely. And this is a 3D reconstruction CT post school reconstruction surgery. We can see the shape of school change regularly. And here is the ocular examination. We can see the inferior oblique overreaction plus two and the super oblique underreaction minus one. And the exotropia is 18 prism diopter and the right hypertropia 10 prism diopter. And the deviation is uh, similar between the distance and the near. And the V pattern, inferior oblique overreaction. So what's the next surgery? Normally, in cranial cyanostosis, the patients have to face two surgeries, cranial facial plastic surgery and the strabismal surgery after, after the school reconstruction surgery. The boy's patient read some medical literature and themselves went to the children's hospital to observe, and they consult with the cranial facial reconstructive surgeon. Uh, finally, they give up craniofacial plastic surgeon. On the one hand, the craniofacial deformation of the boy is not severe. On the other hand, they don't want their boy to be suffered from this cranial traction at three or six months. So I did strabismal surgery, one month post-operation, one year post-operation. So the management of cranial cyanostosis is complex and the multidisciplinary should be considered. At least to include school reconstruction surgery, craniofacial plastic surgery, and the strabismus surgery. School reconstruction surgery, if the severe cranial cyanostosis should be done at first, increased in craniofacial, in craniofacial pressure in 75% of syndromic as 20 person non-syndromic single suture cyanostosis and the risk that ICP increase per peel edema or optical trophy and the mental retardation. The timing is very important. Normally the timing of the school reconstruction surgery is between six months and 12 months after, after birth. Oh. If the surgery is too early, the patient have to face second surgery. If it's too late, the mental retardation will present. And the management of cranial cyanostosis of also management include poor vision and strabismus, and uh, up to 90% present strabismus. And the patients with cranial cyanostosis showed horizontal deviation in perimeter position. Normally, exotropia is more than isotropia. And if V pattern and elevation of depression in adduction, inferior oblique weakening procedure or super oblique stressing procedure should be considered. And on the same time, RNR should be, should be done to correct 
primary horizontal deviation. Summary, cranial cytostosis is primary tumor closure of one or more cranial suture in the embryonic period of early childhood. And cranial cytostosis normally involve cranial, cranial facial, and the ocular anomalies, for example, strabismus. Therefore, neurosurgeon, cranial facial plastic surgeon, and ophthalmologists should take coordinated roles in the treatment of cranial cytostosis. Finally, equally important, children with cranial cytostosis are often shunned or sneered by others, so much more care should be given by them, should be given to them by society, school, or parents. That's all. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much.